Welcome back to another episode of NC Bassin. We've had a huge warm front come through North Carolina, and this pond right here was great last year during pre-spawn, but the last like five or six times I've been here, it's been completely terrible. I can barely even catch a fish here. I mean, I really haven't even, I've caught one fish on a chatterbait like the last five times I've been here. I haven't made a video, and I really haven't been here in like three or four months since it first got cold. So maybe I'll let the fish rest and they're biting. There's some big fish in here, but they've all been caught by me. And this pond's overfished by a lot of people. So, and they usually take them home and eat them. That's a big problem with it. But hopefully I can catch one of these big giants moving up. And I'm gonna do a quick little tackle warehouse unboxing. I just got like a little $60 order to show you some of the stuff that I'm gonna use this pre-spawn. Wind's blowing me, me into the trees, but quick little tackle warehouse unboxing. I got, I really want to try these sure hookup shaky heads these look awesome i'm gonna use some of these today too but probably not this one but as you can see they got the little those little stand-ups on the bottom it's gonna stand up straight the spots can't stand something standing up straight these should work great at norman you guys probably give them a try i don't know i haven't tried them they might not be good picked up the shadow wrap i love these dirt baits i had to get a shallow diver i love that color for norman too with that chartreuse belly you know i love chartreuse works right at norman and I'm always throwing frogs on the buzz bait, so I thought I might as well pick up this, this Lunker Lower buzz bait. They're actually even cheaper right now. I'm gonna throw a horny toe on it, but this is what a uh, thrift won Lake Norman on a few years ago. Of course, you get the sticker over 50. And the rock crawl. This is what I really wanted was the rock crawlers. I've been hearing great things about them at Norman. Now, I don't like the nine to 14 footers. The only reason I don't, I'm not good with deep diving crankbaits and the main reason I don't like them is because when if I can't reach my rod tip I'll have a great chance of losing them. you guys know I keep the same crankbait for for years and when I get hung up in rocks I can walk I just pull the boat over there and pop them off because so I don't want to lose them and I'm if you're poor like me you probably want to stick to something that dives less than eight foot these dive eight foot look at that red color that thing is perfect that thing is going to kill that Norman I believe a lot of people are already throwing them but I really like them upriver that's gonna be money i guarantee it and then i got a more of a translucent crawl color that'll be great in a little bit cleaner water and i picked up this bx brat kind of a little bit smaller than i thought it was going to be it only dives to three feet i thought this would be a great little nighttime crank or really muddy water that dark color that bait looks awesome it's kind of it's really small actually and it's balsa wood, so it might be really hard to throw. We'll see. I mean, it's actually got rattles in it, so it, might, it has a little bit of weight to it. So I might be able to throw it pretty good. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but I really like it. I'm probably going to get one of the six-foot divers, too, like a red color one. It, it does look good. Picked up some hooks. VMC's decent. They're cheap. Got some trailer hooks. I don't always throw trailer hooks but if, in, in thick cover, but it's, it's not really that thick of cover, like throwing over laydowns. I will put on a trailer hook on the spinner baits and buzz baits. And just a wide gap warm hooks I need and a great line for the price guys Flor fluorocarbon will change the way you fish with a lot of baits you will feel every bite a lot better and I can't get the real expensive stuff like in Viz X and stuff but the red label it does the job it for me this is the best line I buy and it I mean I don't spend that much power pro isn't cheap either but lasts forever but this this stuff will last you all year I had the same red label on my cranking stick all year and I'm just now running out of it it, it never did like a lot of people want to change them say it deteriorates and the sun makes it mess up but it lasted all year for me fine no no break offs or nothing but that's the that's all i got just a little 60 dollar order let's catch some fish there we go big one there's no fish in this pond but the ones that are, are huge god i'm starting to wonder if there's any fish in here Maybe he's not that big. Not bad. Biggest fish of the year for me. Easy. Yeah. There we go. That's what I like about this pond. Guys throwing night crawlers don't catch these fish. All the 12, 13 inch basket taken home and eaten. But that guy is a nice one. I just spooked one that was even bigger. My boat pulled up. You know, I just seen a it look like a carp taken off, but I know there's no carp in here. That's a bass. That's a, I think that's a male. That might be a female. 
Yes, there we go. That's why I love this pond. Well, there you go, guys. Pre-spawn. This water temp is 57 degrees. These fish are moving up. It's a nice cloudy day. Perfect time. Windy, cloudy days. Love the spinnerbait. War Eagle, you can't beat it. You guys seen last year, I caught two over seven out of this pond. I think I just scared one of the ones that were seven. Maybe they're eight now, I hope. But this fish is not as fast as it should be. It's got to be a female, I would think. But she was right on the bank. They're not spawning yet, but they're getting ready to. I wish this fish was a little bit fatter, but not bad. Let's go ahead and get a weight on her real quick. Fish will weight, 388. New PB for the year right now. As of now, I'm happy with it. Let her go. Gotta lay some eggs, make some more big fish in this pond. Good. That's a big one. That's a huge fish. That's a huge fish. Don't jump, God! That was... The freaking eight pounder, God! Watch, watch, watch. Oh my God! You're an idiot, dude. That was a 10 pounder. What were you doing? That was a 10 pounder. You, you should have grabbed him. You're a kid. So you don't let fish jump. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. I mean, I lost a giant. It really sucks, but can't catch them all. I mean, I could have kept the fish down. It's hard. I hate going from that up high angle to going down because you give them a little bit of slack. But a lot of times, if you do that, you can keep them from coming up. But that fish was swinging my boat out. I mean, I'm sure you kayak guys have it even worse. When you have a fish pulling and trying to keep pressure, and then he comes at you, it's it's hard to easily spit that hook. And with a spinnerbait, they have the leverage. You really need to hook them and just try to crank them in as quick as you can. But it happens. And it was probably a fish I've caught before, so it ain't that big of a deal. But like this pond usually is, two fish is, two bites is the most you're going to get. I had two bites. Seen another big fish that I spooked, which let me know that the fish were pretty much sitting with their back out of the water. Which you expect in muddy water when it's warming like this, but this, this pond's always muddy like this until the grass grows. When the grass comes back, it'll clean up a little bit. But I'm just glad I caught one decent fish. It wasn't a lot. Most time I get skunked here, so at least I caught one, and that one was a huge one, but... I'll be back for it. I'm sure I'll catch her, but she won't be as fat and full of eggs like she was now. But I'll catch that fish again for the end of the year. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.